Hey guys, I've gotten a ton, ton of questions about the cooling system in my car. Um, I thought I explained it pretty good. I guess I didn't. Um, so we're going to go over quickly the cooling system, how it's routed, where everything goes. Is it not bright in here? <laughs> where everything goes and how, how it's all done. It's, it's, it's really simple. Um, it's a very basic cooling system. There's nothing crazy, magical, extreme, nothing in it. So I'll show you guys really quick. Well, you got a factory F-body water pump right there, right? I welded a fitting. This is going to get changed because that's a Dash 20. That was from my original. Oy. That's a Dash 20. That was from my original setup. You don't need to run Dash 20. You can run Dash 16, but when my radio was up front, I just did Dash 20s because it was easier. Well, it wasn't easier, but it was easier. Um, you could actually see there's a bulk connector fitting right there to go to dash 16 that whole hose is going to get changed and i'm going to be welding a dash 16 on there extended out so it's just 90s around i have a motion raceworks billet thermostat housing with a dash 16 orb fitting in there and it's 90 out and i also have heater hoses hooked up i um I get a lot of questions about my heater hoses because they are AN fittings. Um, I threaded, I tapped and threaded the water pump. I pulled those fittings and tapped it. You know, made any lines. And what I did up here was I got some plumbing fittings because, you know, your heater core is brass. And I soldered them to the heater core with adapters. And there you go. Simple as that. They look 10 times better than rubber hoses. The only thing I haven't done is gotten fittings, um, I'm sorry, clamps to hold these together like this. I think I gotta make that one just a touch shorter anyway. But it'll look nice when there's a clamp like that. Now, on how this is routed. Oh, my steam port is dumped right in the top of my water pump right there. Anyway, so how is this routed? Really? You're, get ready. Super simple. That top hose goes all the way back under the car. Under the car, you can see the hoses. All the way up to the top of the radiator right there. That is the upper hose off the radiator. Oh, I'm sorry. That is the upper hose off the water pump and that's the lower hose off the water pump that's all it is now I got the radiator mounted now you see over there is another fitting that is a dash 12 welded to where the cap used to be and I'll go up top to show you. The only problem I have found with this is the top of this radiator gets covered in leaves and everything else. So I take the air compressor and just blow it off every once in a while. Anyway, so that dash 12 fitting comes up into the bottom of my overflow or my expansion tank so this is my expansion tank I got an 18 to 22 pound uh, stamp cap on it um, we went over this obviously and of course this is the actual overflow that I built it's working pretty well looks great Let's see if there's anything even in here Oy. just a touch in there now that's all it is very simple very easy 
Now, I'm not going to really change anything this winter with it. The only thing I'm going to change is the size of the radiator. I'm going to put a Fox body size radiator on the car just simply because I have the room now. And I want to mount it better than that. That is, I will the brackets to the side of it and I don't know. It just kind of makes me nervous that I bet I tire shake that car good once and they can crack. So I'm probably going to build a tubular frame that the radiator is going to be suspended on. So there will be the frame and the radiator will be on top of it. And the cool thing about the Fox body radiator is you can get dual contour fans that fit it perfectly and LMR sells a mount kit for it. So it'll be like factory and those fans are supposed to be badass and you shouldn't have any cooling problems ever with it. I'm not changing the expansion tank, I'm not changing the reservoir, I'm changing that one upper hose so it's all dash 16 and it looks better because that was just rigged to get through this year. And that's it. Very simple, very easy. Like I said, nothing secretive or nothing in it. Um, I got to do a better job hanging the lines. When, the, when I pull the rear out this winter, I want to see if I can do something up over the rear axle. Because at ride height, it is... It's damn close to rubbing on the brake line. Maybe I'll move the brake line. Who knows? Guys, get out in your garage. Grab a cold beer. Start working on your hot rod. Um, it, it's build season, guys. We are pretty much, it's middle of October. I mean, for most of the country. I, I don't want to hear anything from you Florida, Texas people. All right? <laughs> we are build season for most of the country. Um, guys, I'm picking up a lot of dealers. I'm becoming a lot of dealers for a lot of products. Uh, I'm a Holly dealer. I'm a Maven Performance dealer. And I am an, now an RJS Racing Equipment dealer. If you need anything, hit up my website. If you don't see it on my website, send me a message on the website. I'll get back to you. Um, I'm updating the website more and more as more products come in. I got a really cool product coming in from Maven Performance that I had custom made. And it's my first signature part you could say or something of that nature well uh have a good have a great night guys